Today, I share this simple recipe that I made for my daughter on her 50th birthday. To some of us living in America, I want you to add this recipe to your Thanksgiving menu. Hello everyone, welcome back to another interesting one. We'll start by making the glazed sugar. Add some sugar in a pan, add water to cover and start stirring till all the sugar dissolves. Please don't leave this to go and check your Instagram update, alright? Continue to stay till the sugar is properly dissolved as demonstrated on the video. Once the sugar dissolves, allow to cook for about 2 minutes. Do this on low to medium heat, alright? Continue to stay at a point you will notice that the sugar is becoming sticky, alright? At this point, it is ready. Take it out of the heat and put in a bowl to cool down completely. Once it cools down, it will become more sticky. Take some and rub it on your skin just to be sure that you get the exact texture. It will look as if you are rubbing a honey on your skin. Put in a jar and store in your refrigerator for 4 weeks. I guarantee you that. We'll move to the next step start by sieving flour in a bowl it is always important to sieve the flour before making use of it once that is done i added baking powder and cardamom powder use any flavor of your choice at this point then i added salt mix to combine very well once that is done i go in with some oil once i add the oil i will move with my fingers mix till i form a crumbs just like this one the crumbs will be a kind of moldable all right as you can see on the video now i will start adding water bit by bit till i form a dough thank you so much for watching today's video to my returning subscribers i appreciate you all if you are new here mm, a warm welcome to you please subscribe to my channel also like and share this video with your loved ones all right i continue to mix till everything comes together please check the description box where i will leave the list of the ingredients and their measurement at this point i move the dough to the work surface so that i will have enough space to mix the dough together all right the dough doesn't need to be smooth once it comes together it will look like something like this all right now put it back into the bowl at this point if your refrigerator is cold you can put it in the refrigerator for about 10 minutes or you can cover and allow to sit in your kitchen for about 10 minutes i put mine in the refrigerator 10 minutes later look what we have all right it is ready at this point now we'll move it to the next level cut the dough into two equal parts set one aside and i will start working with the other half roll as flat as possible all right beautiful shout out to you mary from uganda mariama s obama from gambia juliana from ghana nelly's cake from nigeria joycey from katamosu melani from south africa muna mesasa from usa and prim prim all the way from uk whoops i'm glad you all love the recipe please let me know where you're watching from so i can give you a shout out in my next video apologies if i didn't pronounce your name very well okay all right once i'm done rolling i'm going to shape the dough once i shape the dough into a square shape just like so i will cut into two equal parts each part is about four inches then i will fold again which will give me two inches all right i hope you understand me once that is done grab a table knife or a kitchen knife and start making a slight cut as demonstrated on the video i didn't cut it all through all right i just cut a little from the one i folded now i start folding it is very very simple 
anyone i mean anyone can do this recipe now i start folding fold gently as demonstrated on the video till you get to the end all right and this is what you should have you can separate them with your fingers all right once that is done grab a toothpick and pin it as demonstrated on the video the toothpick will help hold it together so that they don't spread around while frying all right and this is what you should have very simple and easy we will take that one more time if you watch upon this minute i appreciate you it also means they're enjoying this video please give this video a like also subscribe to my channel let's be family thank you so much repeat the same process with the remaining ones and look what we have everything is ready at this point it is time to fry please do not use too much heat all right gently throw it one after the other into the hot oil all right please do not use too much heat so that you will achieve a perfect result at the end of the frying make sure they are in separate form after dropping it into the hot oil after about a minute flip the other side to fry as well another important thing to consider while flipping them is to do this gently all right the flowers can easily break yes if you are rough with this recipe the flowers can easily break use a skewer and gently flip it around fry according to your preferred texture once it is golden brown like so, it is ready. Take it out of the hot oil. Are we done yet? No. Remember the glazed sugar that we prepared earlier? It is time to make use of it. Throw the flowers one after the other into the sugar and toss it around. And there you have it. This recipe is so, so addictive. Like it disappeared in a minute the moment i brought it to my daughter's birthday table gently take out the toothpick and there you have it very simple and easy you don't need to serve it that way because it has that sticky texture sugar in it get me a pepper cupcake and drop them one after the other just like this and there you have it do we love the recipe those of us staying in america i would want you to give this recipe a try add it to your thanksgiving menu and watch your guest demand for more if you watch upon this minute i want you to type at the comment section yummy thank you so much for watching remember if anybody can you can as well i wish you all the best bye